Looks like we are live for the second time. All right. Hello and welcome to the test stream. I am a non junior. I play Minecraft and World of Tanks and various and sundry other games. And I am working on getting a new series together um, called Coffee Craft. It is a server that is run and hosted by myself, my sister, and her husband. And um, we, we've been playing in what we've been jokingly calling the uh, Season Zero server. Uh, while well, we get used to trying to do things a little bit different than what we have done in the past. Uh, building things a little bit different than we have in the past. And... Uh, well, before I walk outside and try to show you anything, let's go ahead and sleep. And... Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out all this dashboard stuff. Still trying to figure out how all the streaming stuff works, hence the test stream. Uh, but it looks like I finally got XSplit working. As you can see, we've uh, been on here just a little bit. Um... When 1.13 first came out, I fired up a test world. This is, and this is that world. That was the foundation of our season zero. I kind of hastily built this little cabin here. Nothing too special, nothing too fancy, because honestly, I was expecting just to be testing it, um, not building on from there. And it's been slowly built out. So, um, yeah, collected a couple of horses and fun stuff. Uh, some basic storage. Hello, puppies. Um, and some of your basic farms kind of hiding in the mountain, like a little egg farm. Um, no, that's not crazy stupid in production, but that is more than enough for me. And um, a pumpkin farm going there. I want to say it was uh, one of Mumbo Jumbo's videos that uh, brought up this design. A mob dropper that I'll have to go through. Does a pretty good job, at least so far. A um, little mini cactus farm that I kind of tucked into a corner. I capped it off for now because, well, that's more cactus than I need at the moment. Um, the only reason why I built the farm is because it's one of those things that I don't need it till I need it, and then when I do need it, I need a bunch of it. Um, and this was either Doc M or Il Mango, one of the two, um, made a wonderful little infinite furnace thingy with uh, some cheaty wool duplication type stuff and um, yeah I went ahead and built that just to play around testing out some other duplication type stuff that I've seen floating around built a few different designs and just kind of testing things out I think once we start season one we'll put a moratorium on the um, duplicator-based stuff, just because uh, it, it just doesn't feel right. Um, yes, the armory. And a little crop dupl uh, insta-farming type deal. Um, I want to say I saw it on, on Il Mango's channel. Um, I do want to try to make sure that I, I'm going to have to re before I do an actual proper first introductory episode. I'm definitely going to have to uh, go back through and look at all the different farms and see see where I got the ideas so I can properly credit them. Um, hello. You guys been busy? Yeah, have you been busy? Uh, not as busy as I like. But I was just off not too long ago. Um, hmm. Okay, while well, that's going, let me switch up to that, and yeah, I'm going to have to figure out how this sort of thing works. Uh, da -da -da -da. What are you warning about? Um, oh, okay. That's not too bad. All right. And back to the game. So, I do plan on building more over in this area. Hi guys. You are useless. Uh, that was supposed to be a wheat farm, and I didn't realize that they would make bread. I should have known better, I should have researched better, but that's life. Um, 
Hmm. Yeah, and so I do want to plan on building some more farms and whatnot using uh, some of the natural caving system. And hello, Elytra. Thank you for activating. Um, I'm kind of doing a little practice walkthrough, trying to check out the stream, make sure that I can actually, you know, figure this stuff out. Got a nice big field here. I installed a crap ton of lights because, well, it snows all the time up here. And I don't want the snow. I don't want snowy fields. I don't like all the lights, and I don't really like these guys. I wanted a lawn. Like, I wanted a real, honest-to-goodness lawn. Um, oh, yes. My little gate. I saved the video that showed the design. I'm going to have to definitely look up um, who did that one so I can credit them properly in the introductory video. It was pretty awesome. Buttons you kind of figured out, but the nice thing is, is that it is now locked. Buttons do not work. Although, in a world where everybody has an Elytra, that doesn't really help all that much, does it? Ah, uh, still, it was fun to make. So anyways, I kind of try to figure things out here and go through the different world stuff. Like, I definitely want to take this corner and make it a little less boxy and actually build a, uh, don't fall. And want to build, like, a nice little tower out on the side here, kind of projecting off. Um, and likewise around the four corners. I want to build up a little more of a pavilion in here. And maybe the whole lighting thing will get, uh, solved when I, uh... When I start building some more stuff in here, because I have not yet begun to build in here, I haven't really thought much about what I wanted to do. Um, I know one of the things on my list is to finish setting this up so it looks a little more like it's part of the mountain. And a little more natural. I just didn't have enough slope there to build where I wanted to. Um, a little iron farm. That's going to be our community storage. I do need to work on that project. Rayest would like a massive amount of glowstone lamps, redstone lamps, um, across the floor. And yeah, she wants to light it with lamps. Okay. I'm up to the challenge. I'll have to figure out how to light this joker up. I may carpet it in lamps and just power in a design on the bottom. I haven't quite gotten that far yet. I will need to move these shulkers out the way too. Um, and definitely get to work on mob proofing that. Huh. Okay. Uh, how about this for guests? Yeah, there's some of the other supplies I dropped off for this particular project. What else am I going to want to show off? Come on. An upgraded computer. That's something I'm going to need to do. Uh, we've got the server running on an old Alienware 17MX or something like that. It was my gaming laptop that I used for a very long time. So, it is a little long in the tooth. It's serving duty as the server and um, our media center PC. Uh, this is the area that Rest is building in right now. She's kind of building a couple of temples and a ginormous structure up on top. She hasn't quite figured out what she wants to do with that one. Uh, that is very much a work in progress. I may not want to show that off yet. Because I don't know how she feels about that. Down this way, Arcadius says he's going to build a lighthouse over here. I'll believe that when I see it. He's got a little outpost over there. His underwater starter base from the beginning of the season. And his current base, which looks beautiful. But is not all that well lit. So, uh, don't be fooled by the lamps. It is not a safe place to be at night. That is why there's still that one little bit of missing terracotta. 
because I came out from the turtle farm under there and was blown up by a creeper. Good times, good times. Um, I replaced everything that was still available to replace, but, uh, yeah. There's that. Yeah, I guess I didn't show that part of my own, too. Um, Arcadius does a lot of the, um... The okay. Let's try this again. Arcadius does do a lot of the decorative type builds, you know, 3D art, that kind of thing, like the little planes there. Um, we were on a server that somebody else was running for a while, and Arcadius did a lot of pixel art, 2D pixel art. It was awesome. Um, the three of us had a little cave that we set up on the world, and he did a giant R2-D2 stained glass in the um, entrance to the cave. Um, yeah, good stuff. And yeah, still got to work on the server lag. Um, I'd love to yell at the server admin about that, but I am the server admin, so I have no one to yell at for myself. Yeah. That is on the to-do list. Um... Kind of started building out a nice little nether hub. I hate the zombie pigmen walking in and out. I've tried to do set it up so it won't spawn at all. Rast is almost finished with her part of the hub. Um, all you Ohio State fans, you're welcome. Um, yeah, we just gotta gotta get some stairs in there. I might help her out with that. And throw another spruce door on there. Yeah, no, I'll do that later. Um, Arcadius built has the tightest builds ever. Oh, that's his little idiot over there. Where did that come from? Do I want to know? I don't want to know. I do want to know. Where did that come from? Huh. Oh. It's going to be there. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Let me get to what I was originally going to do anyway. There's a little area that Arcadius wanted to strip my own. Welcome to take. Uh, oh, yeah. and all the fun stuff like my little AFK spot. Come on, there we go. All right, my little AFK spot. A room away, safe and tucked away. Roof just short enough that the Enderman can't spawn. In my collection of mob heads because that's not creepy at all to have a little hidden room with heads. Um, And all that other good fun stuff, enchanting and brewing, and all the good, all the necessities. All right. Oop, that hurt. Come on. <sighs> yeah. The funny thing is, is we use the same server for, or the same hardware for a 1.12 server that we ran for quite some time, and we didn't have nearly the lag issues. Now, there's two parts to that, too. On the one hand, we didn't have all the fun stuff that the update Aquatica brought, like the COD AI and that sort of thing. Um, we also did not have nearly as many redstone machines running. There, there were a couple. There were a couple, but uh, not quite like we had before. Hello, llamas. I forgot to bring my leads. I was going to take a couple of llamas back, pack them up, and uh, make a little uh, make a little rail station between here and there. So, that 
that was the whirlwind tour i will definitely record a more proper intro and tour and all that good fun stuff get it up on the youtube channel um coffeecraft.us is going to be the website i've got part of it already built i definitely want to finish that up soon but this is one of those things that i keep kind of putting it off putting it off putting it off um in no small part because man trying to start something like this is a scary scary thing and uh trying to put yourself out there and do this sort of thing is a scary scary thing and so you kind of oh yeah let me let me let me tweak this a little bit first let me do that a little bit first uh let me go do this other thing first and then then i will go ahead and get it done and you just kind of yeah um the long and the short is is this was something that i thought i was going to have done a long time ago we've been kind of planning this project for for a while um those who know how it works can definitely go through and check the um register our records and you'll see when I registered the coffee craft domain name and started building all that you can see the github repo where I've got um, all that sort of stuff done and uh, yeah and what else is it gonna get nope. that seems to be about it yep And so, yeah, th this this was a project that was supposed to go live, well, <laughs> uh, not too long after 13. Dot, yeah, 13.0 first released. Or 1.13 first released. That was not quite what I wanted. Interesting. That's a little closer. I'm going to have a ginormous pool of lava under here, and the last thing that I want is to lose all my stuff. I do not have a proper backup box yet. It's on the to-do list. So there we go. Um... Here I am, talking to myself on an empty stream with nobody around. Digging away at one of the most boring parts of Minecraft. Go me. Wonderful start to a channel. There's a part of me that really did want to, uh... As I was leaving the channel I was watching earlier, kind of pop out in the chat. Hey, getting ready to stream, but... I. I have a little trouble being that kind of self-promoting. I'm trying to find the right balance between, you know, justifiably promoting and that guy. Who is endlessly... Oh, thank you. Uh, who's endlessly talking about what they're doing. And, yeah. Test out the chat. See, I'm using Restream.io to stream out to Twitch and to Mixer, and uh, so far it seems to be working all right. I'm going to add in YouTube as another streaming option as soon as the authorization and whatnot goes through on that one. Uh, I got all the accounts and everything created. I just need to wait the 24 hours from when you set it up to when you can actually, you know, start streaming. And they'll let you start streaming. And, um, yeah, so hopefully the next time I do a test, 
That will also be up on YouTube. Uh, for the next test, I'll probably let a couple more people know, for starters. And yeah, so at Anon Jr. on Twitter, you can find a lot of the more relevant stuff on my profile, I think. Um, AnonJr.com is where I'm going to be posting a bunch of stuff. I think high on my agenda for the next one is to find some background music and figure out where to go from there. And with that very short and brief execution on a stream, and because the dog desperately needs to get fed, I am actually going to, uh, to sign off the stream. And next time, I will go for for an actual feature-length stream, so to speak. Oh, hello. First, I'm going to get the slime so I can get the leads to bring the pack llamas around. Hello. Hello, Legolicious. Nice of you to jump in. That was fun. All right. And time to stop, listen back to the stream, and start putting together a list of things I need to do before the next one. Hope it's been fun. Enjoy. <laughs>